this creator is collaborating with, Kinder World. Stick around after the video to learn more. So I think really the newest thing is uh, my Moodane sticker. That's uh, kind of all that I had time to finish. Um, she's hollow, because I really like the hollow stickers. Um, yeah, uh, every everything else that I brought is all restock. Um, these are for blind boxes I'm going to make tonight because I forgot to make new ones for uh, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh, Legend of Zelda. Almost said Lord of the Rings. I keep playing Lord of the Rings music so I have that on my mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, 
and just I think what else is kind of new is I moved my washi tape over here so I'm kind of utilizing the new wall that I built to hopefully make the washi tape easier to see so that people know that I have it and yeah it's like a little bump out for more prints um, and just to make it easier to see and then the extra wall I can put like more of the 7x7 seven seven prints I have uh, this is mostly k-pop charms but I also have some character ones that I'm just too lazy to put on the tree right now and I kind of um, I kind of want people to see a little bit easier um, and then the prints of course um, a lot of stuff that you saw from Ocala Comic Con is here so yeah uh, I I'm pretty much done setting up so I'm going to get off of here uh, I'm gonna say that I'm on, I'm gonna go home but I know that I'm gonna end up chit-chatting with people so uh, but I'm going to cover up my table and uh, get ready for tomorrow Okay, good morning everyone. It is Saturday. It's day one of Infinity Con. And it is like 6.45 in the morning. Um, I was not planning on coming in early, but I'll, I'll get to that. So I have never done Infinity Con. Uh, they have been doing a show up in Tallahassee, I think since 2014. Uh, but this is their first time here in Gainesville. It's a big deal because um, they're really, like, we pretty much have SwampCon and that's it. Now we do have, uh, a lot of people in Gainesville do go to the Ocala shows, Brook City Anime Festival and Ocala Comic Con. Um, but as far as like Gainesville specifically, before uh, Infinity Con came, it was pretty much just SwampCon. So I'm hoping that just the fact that there's a big um, nerd community and you know you have the university that it draws a lot of people in and it's a pretty big deal. Uh, SwampCon is usually a pretty big deal. A lot of people do really well there. So I've heard I've been trying to get into SwampCon for six years now and uh, they still have not accepted me. <laughs> so. Um, Maybe in 2025 I'll finally get in. Who knows? The fact that it's a first, like this is their first year doing it here in Gainesville. Um, I guess it's a first year. I mean, it is a first year con because it's a new location. Um, a location can definitely make or break uh, a show. But that's not the only thing that kind of makes this a little bit of a, a special show. Um... So, as you may or may not know, we are in Florida, and we had, or are having, a pretty rough hurricane season, wherever this, um, whenever I finally get this out. I haven't even edited the Ocala Comic Con, because, um, first we had Helene, and this was supposed to be on the weekend that Helene hit, and they postponed it from... Uh, late September to mid-October and then <laughs> we just got done dealing with uh, Hurricane Milton <laughs> um, they chose not to cancel which uh, I think is fine um, Gainesville is definitely more inland than say Tampa Tampa St. Pete uh, the west coast of Florida got hit pretty bad um, we really didn't, and as far as like me personally, I'm fine. Um, my family is fine. Uh, our, all of our animals are, are okay. Um, we had fallen limbs, and I think we lost like a flagpole, but that's about it. We 
for Helene, we lost power for like three or four days. And then for Milton, we lost power for 14 hours. So yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Um, we we're, we're going to be okay. Um, so just getting the hurricane stuff out of the way, uh, so we can go into, uh, <laughs> so <sighs> Wasabi Con was also supposed to happen this weekend up in Jacksonville and they, for the most part from what I saw, cause I wasn't following it. I wasn't initially following it too closely because I wasn't, I wasn't going. Um, but then they, they were supposed to have their first day yesterday on Friday, but Thursday afternoon, they postponed their event, which really threw a wrench in a lot of people's plans because a lot of people, uh, Wasabi Con is the biggest con in Jacksonville. So people tend to do pretty well and people were really kind of desperate for that um, WasabiCon money. And they ended up, a lot of them ended up migrating down to InfinityCon. So the Artist Alley, I don't know how many like new artists they accepted, but they accepted a significant amount of uh, new artists at the last minute. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how that plays out. Uh, I'm happy that a lot of my artist friends were able to come down and get a spot so that they can get some sort of uh, like um, consolation out of it because um, you know, people on, on Thursday, people were checking into their hotels. People were coming in on their flights to do WasabiCon. And then they look at their phones on Instagram and see that it got postponed. Um, so WasabiCon doesn't have like a great, um, it's not in great standing with the community right now, unfortunately. Um, they're trying to do like a pop-up thing today it's it, it's a bit of a mess um and i don't want to say like too much because i anyway um basically i just want to focus on what's affecting me and that is the fact that a lot of people had to um move down from jacksonville and come down here for the weekend and hopefully kind of make up the money We'll see how it goes. This is obviously a much smaller event. Uh, it's in a smaller city and it's their first time here in a smaller city. So we don't, no one really knows exactly what's going to uh, happen. We're all hoping for the best. Um, I really want this to be good. Um, Kind of based on the track record that this whole year has been for me it'll probably just be like okay at the best of it but yeah um and then i'm here at literally the crack of dawn because i was supposed to get a six foot table i mean i was supposed to get an eight foot table but i got a six foot table and i should have double checked that because my table is all set up on the six foot when I was supposed to get an eight, eight foot. So I have to go in um, and swap tables. And I mean, you guys have seen my display. It's, um, it's magnificent, but it is so big and it's so tall and there's so much stuff on it. Um, so I'm just waiting for the bay doors to open so that I can go in and talk to them and be like, hi, can I please get an eight foot table or something? Because that's what I was supposed to get. Um, so yeah, the lesson learned, double check your t the, the size of the table that you're supposed to be getting on the website before you set up. 
Um, so, yeah. So that's about it for now. Um, I don't know if some people are out and like getting stuff out, so I don't know if like I can go ahead and get out too or just hang out for a minute. I'll probably just hang out for a minute. Um, trying to eat a little bit, but yeah, so we'll see how the, um, the table swapping goes and I'll see you guys inside. All right, so I went home and, uh, I forgot the stuff that I was going to put inside the boxes here. Um, but I went ahead and drew the new line boxes. So I got one for Zelda and Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen. So these are like the three that I sell the most of. And I ran it, I'm officially out of like the, the white cartons. So now we're gonna go into like the colored ones. So yeah, so there's that. And then um, I ended up, a friend of mine is lending me their um, four foot table to kind of make up for the six foot. And I went ahead and did this instead of getting a whole new eight foot table so that I didn't have to move my humongous display and all the resin stuff. Uh, I think this just was a much easier, um, a, just easier on me. And I moved the magnets over here so people can dig a little easier. The shaker charms are here. I have one of the towers here. Uh, I have some more of the dishes and such spread out. The blind boxes all have room up here. Uh, I think it's better for them to be up here so that people can see them a little bit easier. Um, stick a book, print book. Everything um, I think looks pretty good. And then I switched out. Um, I didn't have enough, I don't have enough Jujutsu Kaisen charms anymore for the gotcha. So I, I switched it out with Demon Slayer, so this, that's what this weekend is going to do. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer are like my most popular series usually. So we're just gonna hope that this also performs well and that these do well. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how, how this weekend plays out, so. My friend gave me this bottle that they made. It's like it's like a little gunny. Isn't he so cute? Oh my goodness! He's so small. Wait. He's so tiny.
So I made two more of the Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen wine boxes. Uh, I sold the other two that I made oops, yesterday. Um, usually I have the Gojo one facing, but my friend said that I did a really good job with Yuji, so um, we're gonna have Yuji facing out today and see how that goes. But yep, so these are restocked. Hopefully they also get sold. Hopefully they all get sold. Alright, so good morning everyone. Um, it is Sunday, day two. Um, yesterday was interesting. I still need to make back table today, um, but I'm pretty confident that I will. Uh, the biggest the biggest thing that I noticed was um, like I was making sales and like pretty often and pretty consistent but they were very very small so they weren't um, big enough to add up to table cost unfortunately um, but I um, I don't know if it's like delusion or like just trying to like um, will it into reality that I'll make back table today. Um, I think I can. I'm I'm about like fifty dollars short, um, so I I feel like I I just gotta believe in myself that I can do this. Um, and yeah, it's. Uh, we're about to open to the general public. We've been open for VIPs. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish um, eating my breakfast and uh, just kind of see how today goes, so.
So this is going to be my Artist Alley summary for Infinity Con Gainesville 2024. So this was a bizarre weekend. So Infinity Con was supposed to be, uh, it was supposed to happen September 28th and 29th. However, <laughs> that week, Hurricane Helene ended up hitting Florida and Georgia and North Carolina and other southern states. Um, in case you are not aware, I am, I am located in Florida. Uh, I'm fine, so, and, uh, so don't worry about that. I'm, I'm okay. My family is okay. We did have some damage, but, you know, nothing that we can't recover from. But, uh, so it was supposed to be the 28th and 29th, or the 27th and 28th. It, numbers, man. The 28th and 29th. Okay, I was right the first time. And uh, that was the week that Helene hit and the convention organizers decided to postpone Infinity Con to um, October 12th and 13th, which uh, worked fine for me. Uh, it was the same weekend as WasabiCon, but uh, I I had applied to be in WasabiCon, but they never got back to me, so I didn't was not bother. It did not bother me that it was the same weekend as Wasabi because uh, if I had to pick between Wasabi and Infinity, I would have done Infinity because it's so much closer to me anyway, and. So, but that, uh, last week, um, we got hit by Hurricane Milton. Such unfortunate luck that, um, you know, you reschedule your event because of a massive hurricane and that same weekend is also another big hurricane, uh, arguably bigger, although for my family we actually had a lot less issues with Milton than we did with Helene, but that, that's besides the point. Um, but they decided to not cancel their event. And remember how I said that WasabiCon was also supposed to happen this weekend? Well, they ended up postponing. And they postponed at like 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the afternoon the Thursday before uh, their event was supposed to start. So they were supposed to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they ended up canceling Thursday afternoon. Or they didn't cancel, but they postponed their event to uh, the weekend right before Thanksgiving. And this just threw so many people. Um, you know, people fly in for that show, people were checking into their hotels and then looking on social media to see that it had gotten postponed. Um, it was, it was a mess. And, uh, Infinity Con was kind enough to bring in artists who were displaced by Wasabi Con and, um, Nak Nakama also did a uh, like a outdoor market that same Saturday to help with artists as displaced artists as well who were you know just um, already in the location and ready to do a show and it it's very frustrating when shows do stuff like that because for a lot of people this is their livelihood um, and the, like, like for me, this is my only source of income at this point because job hunting has been god awful. But anyway, um, and you know, a lot of people rely on uh, the big convention money for rent and bills and food and to 
just all of a sudden pull that away from people for another month, over a month, it's, it, it's very frustrating and very upsetting. And a lot of people obviously were not happy with WasabiCon when they did that. So people who were supposed to go to WasabiCon, some of them ended up coming to InfinityCon. And I want to say like, they, they almost, they almost doubled the artist alley about, um, it was a little hard for me to like see everyone because of the curtains. I don't know what it was about those curtains, but it really made it hard to like, I don't know, made me feel a little trapped, but I, so I do think that the sudden increase of other artists in the Artist Alley contributed um, to the numbers that I ended up getting, um, as well as it being the weekend right after a major hurricane, and this being their first, it basically a first year con. Infinity Con does have a show that they do up in Tallahassee. Um, some people say that they do really well, others say that they just kind of do okay. And, but this was their first year uh, in Gainesville. And all of this to say, it was slow. <laughs> um, kind of about what I would expect. You know, again, with all the other stuff, with all the hurricane and wasabi con fiasco happening, it being a first year con, and this year just being very um, low numbers wise when it comes to sales. It, yeah. <laughs> um, but I actually had a whole lot of fun this weekend. And I, I really think that that's an important thing to emphasize and to remember that some, it's something that should be more common when you do Artist Alley is that you're having fun while you're doing it. Um, this was the, f I want to say that this was the first uh, pop culture convention that the Alachua County Sports and Events Center hosted. And it was basically like a giant gym. Uh, it was my first time inside it. I thought it was nice. Um, the loading docks were so small. Like, I think they're the smallest loading docks that I've ever seen. But um, parking was free, which was great. You know, and it wasn't even just like uh, a parking lot, but they had like a free parking garage that we could that we could park in. I always love free parking. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it it was slow. It was slow on Saturday, um, but I was making like a good amount of sales. They were just very small, and they weren't adding up to my table cost. Uh, and then Sunday was a little bit slower. And I had less sales, but they were bigger sales. So I, I was able to hit table. You know, I, I went home uh, Saturday night, still kind of in high spirits because I, I knew that I was gonna hit my table at least. And you know, that's kind of like I feel like my standards are a lot lower for artist alleys than for other people, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, if I hit table and I make back my expenses and such, I, I tend to be pretty happy about that and walking away with a little bit of profit. But yeah, um, I will likely do it again next year because it was, it was just very easy for me to do. And yeah, uh, I would say that Overall, it was a net positive experience. I enjoyed working. This was my first time working with these convention organizers as well. I found them to be very helpful when I needed help with certain things and very open to critique. So I would be very happy to work with them again. 
and I'm looking forward to going again next year and hopefully doing better, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who came out to say hi to me at my table for this weekend. And thank you so much for watching my vlog and supporting me. If you'd like to continue supporting me, the link to my online shop should be in the description. It should be open at this point. And you can also follow me on all of my other socials and you can subscribe to my channel here if you want to see more uh, videos that are like this. And you can of course like this video, leave a comment if you feel like it. And you can also support me by checking out the cozy mobile game Kind of World, whom I am collaborating with at this point. Kind of World is a free to play cozy game you can download on your phone that promotes mental well being. Spend a few moments during your day to water your plants, decorate your rooms with adorable items, and chat with your cute woodland neighbors. I've been playing the game for over a year now, and it's really become a part of my daily routine. I love the beautiful artwork and receiving messages from my fellow players. Kinder World just released their new Autumn Vintage Pack, so now is a great time to start playing. Use my QR code on screen or use my affiliate link in the description below to download Kinder World today. You'll be, you'll be supporting not only the game, but me as well. Thank you.